We just got up, it's like eight in the morning. Last night was my birthday. We had a really good day, we were in the sun and stuff. I just wanna show you guys something. Um, Boom! <laughs> Someone got a little burnt. Ew, this is that funny though. Look at my eyes. Already starting to feel too. Really? A little bit, yeah. That's good. That's a good sign. She was telling me to put on all these products. She's like, you need to put this on for sunscreen. Da -da -da -da. Hey, look at you. No, I really think that the sunscreen we used, that's yeah, just like washed off. I didn't use like the water kind, I guess. My chest is usually the one that gets really, really burnt, but it's because this time I had a life vest on, so it's basically like all of my face on the jet ski and my arm. We're gonna show you guys how we wake up, and this is our view when we get up, right? This is our bed. Right there is the view, and we're gonna open it. So we get up. <sighs> and then, this is the view, and this is so crazy. It's so peaceful, there's nobody out here. Most, ooh, I do look a little bit red. Not really, it's just mainly my shoulders. Literally where I had the uh, life jacket. You're red? My hair hella faded. Yeah, you're red. My hair hella faded out. <laughs> you can only see a blue like right here. This is my uncle at the cook outfit. This is not my outfit yet, just don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> She's gonna show y'all her little fit. Well, it's not complete yet, but this is my little John Paul Gutierrez shirt i feel like it's vacation vibes and then i have this like what is this little thing called like knit what is this? crochet i haven't done my hair i did my makeup for the first time since i've been here that's because i'm hella sunburnt and i need to put makeup on because i look like a lobster so i'm gonna just do my hair real quick Guys, this water is crazy. It's probably hella windy, but look at this. Awesome. Ah, what did you tell Alright guys, so this is the breakfast that I made. I got turkey bacon, eggs, and a little piece of toast. I ate my leftovers from last Carla night. Carla is eating her leftovers from last night. This is your leftovers, but this is not good once it's in the microwave. Oh, the coconut shrimp is not crispy? Yeah. But I ate the rice Still and the, decent, though, and the huh? lobster I had. It's a little something, something. My favorite moment of the trip has been when we jumped off the boat, even though I was really scared. Oh yeah, that was scary. That was a little scary, but it was like, like such a cool experience. I really haven't been jet skiing ever really. We just happened to hit like really rocky waves and it was just so hard to get there. And it was a long trip to get there. Like it took like a good hour, right babe? I well, feel like it we took were going like, really slow at first, remember? Yeah, we were going really slow because I the water just kept splashing my face in my yeah. face. And like I was going at a steady pace. Like I wasn't going super duper slow where you know we stop, go, stop, go. My favorite part of the trip so far has to be definitely it was the uh, jet ski so far. That was just really fun. Yeah. But but definitely the jet skis and that part was really fun. We're going ATVing later. All right, guys, look at my helmet. I look funny. We're about to ride these ATVs. See Carla, she's matching the bike. I'm mad this helmet looks so funny on me.
All right, guys, so we just got done going ATV in. I'm super sore and tired, but it was so fun. That was fun. I got to drive for a little bit. My lips are like so chat. Like something's wrong with my lips. I don't know, Okay, we're gonna go home and take a shower real quick and then we're gonna go eat again. All we do is activities, eat. Beach. Eat. And the beach. You can eat. I know. We are actually going kayaking today and we're on our way. We haven't been on this side of the island. We've actually been staying in like Taylor Bay area, if that's what it's called. And this over here, Oh my God, look how red my nose is. So we are about to go on these kayaks. This is what it looks like. So you see it till it clear. And then we're gonna go on this water over here. So it should be really fun. And make sure y'all subscribe too because this is our vacation vlogs and they're super lit. Let's go. What's up guys? Me and Tristan K goes with it. It's your boy Chop. Add me on Instagram, Evan C underscore CVT. We lit. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit hard to kayak. It's, it's definitely a workout. I didn't know it was a workout like this. Our tour guide is helping us make sure we don't die out here. We're making sure we don't die, but you guys see the water, it's crazy. Look at it. This is so hard. Shy, Gary shy. This right here, this is a kunk. To be more specific, this is actually a queen kunk. So you look on the inside, queen kunks have a pinker inside and the, the outside is more of a yellowish hue. So kunks here and in the Bahamas, huge delicacy, we eat it a lot. We actually eat it too much. There's a reason behind that. Queen kunks, they live for up to about 40 years. The queen ones specifically lay about 200,000 eggs. So Dang. That's the reason why we eat it so much. There's too much of them. You gotta eat them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So they lay about 200,000 eggs, but say only about 120,000 end up surviving because of predators like the turtles and their sharks, stuff like that. There's a whole lot of things you can make with kunk. There's kunk salad, which is a ceviche. There's a next thing called crack kunk, which is which is like the breaded pork chop version of it. Fry it up, eat it with some rice. This is probably good, rice. Huh? <laughs> some macaroni or some coleslaw, bro. You good for the day. So it's not conscious conch. 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 Yeah. So, so we we've been calling it conch. Yeah. He's shy, man. He don't want to come out. Yeah, cause he don't want to get ate. You can't. So you can't eat the conch no. that's in here. Yeah. It's but it. if it goes out there, if it anywhere out, anywhere out there in the ocean, you catch it. That's lunch. So he's in a good spot. Mhm. Mm he know what he's doing. That's why. <laughs> he's like, nope. Oh, he he coming out. Oh, oh, you got two. Yeah. These ones shy. I don't like these ones. This is the ugly thing you've been eating. Oh. I told you it's ugly. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So that's his two eyes. That's his mouth and nose. This right here, that's his rudder. That's what it would use to move. And all this part right here, Yo. that's the part we eat. All of that meat right here. Oh, um, what's that guy from SpongeBob? The snail. This is Gary. SpongeBob. <laughs> Gary, yeah, that's what I was saying. Gary shy. That's how I am. <laughs> oh my god, it's slimy. Yeah, that's like his protective coating. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm good. I feel bad. He probably like, what he the tastes, hell? He tastes way better than he looks, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> this opening would just keep spiraling, connecting to these spines, connecting itself to these spines, oh, and then while it also grows new ones. Guys, that was crazy i'm sorry gary spongebob would not be happy about this but we had to see what you was about bro Definitely had to see what you was about. Yo, he out here just grabbing the jellyfish. He really from the island. I'm a gangster. He built different. I'm built he built different. different. I am not one of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> we not built like that. <laughs> There's two reasons why they live upside down. The first reason being, that's basically how they protect themselves from predators. When I ask you what you saw, you guys said what? Couldn't even tell what it you was. You couldn't tell, right? Sea urchins, they, 
they kind of make themselves look like sea urchins. Mm -hmm. uh, so the second reason they live upside down, that's how they feed. They don't even like floating upside down. Probably like, hey, bro. This is his up. upright. Hmm? This, is his, this is his upright, yeah. We just finished going on the kayaks, and that was like the craziest workout ever. It's I so know. much harder than it looks. I thought it would be easier for some reason. Yeah, I did too. Everything so far that we've been doing, it's been kind of like a workout low key. But it's good because we felt like we weren't working out since we've been here, and yeah, it makes me feel good about like eating whatever we eating eat. Eating whatever we want. We're about to go home, um, um, take a shower. We definitely got it. I'm hungry now, so let's go find some really good food to eat. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So this place is actually called Las Brisas and you can see the little sign right Las Brisas. right here as you can see but look at this cute little dock we found they just have it here look how blue Sorry about me yeah oh you're talking about too. this look how blue this water is. it's probably so cute like at night time too All right, guys, we about to go to the grocery store real quick, show y'all what it looks like. This grocery store, honestly, it looks like, right. looks like any other grocery store. They got some cool shit, though. They said these are fire, apparently. These popcorn mini M&M's. We're not going to eat them. Let's be realistic. But yeah, as you guys can see, it literally looks the same as like any other store. It's not like anything too crazy. We're probably going to get a little... A uh, bottle of something, you know, I'm trying to sip on a little sup, sup, you tell me. Anyways, guys, it looks literally like any other Ralph's or like Safeway, Walmart. It looks just the same. They have alcohol right here, too. It's like not really that different. What's the difference between the gold one and that one? This one's Rapposado and this one's sober. Or you want, you might like the darker one. Look, they got the Hennessy. Ah. <laughs> Have you, has anyone did anyone talk about that in your story? They said apparently this is really good, but me and Hennessy have a really bad relationship right now. A lot of people like this one, but we'll try this one. So me and Carla just tried to get into the pool and freezing what happened? Cold. Well, the other night it was nice and warm outside, but today actually rained and like I guess it was kind of windy. It was really cold in the pool. We could not really get in. Cold. We're also a little bit tipsy. But no, that didn't help. This didn't help. Yeah, the Hennessy makes you hot. Tequila, the, the, I don't know. It usually would make, I guess not, I don't know. But we're about to get into this bathtub. Or actually, this is our hot tub. It's like a bathtub slash hot tub. Hot tub. And we have the view afterwards. Yeah, there's a view right here, but then we'll, it'll make us get warm again, right? Yeah. So we're gonna take a little bath together. A bath together. Are you excited? Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be warm. I know. Instead of fing cold. I know. It's gonna be really warm. <laughs> Did the mohawk? Today is what? Day like five or six in Turks and Caicos. And me and Carla have to take a COVID test before we leave or else we cannot leave. <laughs> so we have like two days left. So you have to take a test within three days of leaving. And if you okay. and if you test positive, you have to stay here for two weeks. Let's hope that's not the case. We've been pretty good about what we've been doing though. Before we came here, we had to take a test as well. Yeah. We had to test negative. So you can't just come here like free, like willy nilly. Yeah. So we're gonna get our test done. I think it's the nose one. So I'm a little bit scared. I don't know. I got my nose done, so it shouldn't be that bad. We don't know how it's gonna go, but we'll find out. You can just hold your head normal, straight. And I'm not going up, I'm going down, alright? You look so scared. Alrighty. And I'll leave it in for five seconds. Okay. A little longer. Gentle. One, two. Alright, good. How was it? It was, um,. It wasn't that bad as I thought. It's not that bad actually. It's just like your eyes get really like watery. If you can do it, I can do it. Yeah. It's not like I have a choice. We can't leave a little bit. How was it? That's uncomfortable. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like you got an alien in your nose or something. Like a worm. My eyes started tearing up. That was actually me and Carla's first time getting the test through our nose. We usually got it done through our um, mouth swab. Whenever we get it done in LA, they never make us do the nose one. So I don't know. But that was weird. That was really weird. If you guys have never gotten it done, it just feels like, it just feels invasive. It feels like there's like a worm in your nose and it just sucks. But I'm pretty sure that we'll be fine. The test will come back negative and then we'll be able to go back home. It wasn't as bad as I thought. The girl was really, really gentle. Like she was super gentle. She said that all the natives, like all the people that stay here have to get tested. What is our plan for today? Today we are probably gonna be hanging out, you Just know, chilling. chilling and then later we're going to get massages at four o'clock. So that would be nice to be like out here in this by the pool. And, and then later tonight we have the birthday dinner. We haven't had like an official birthday dinner. So tonight it's gonna be Cayman's official birthday dinner. That'll be nice. I'm excited. And then tomorrow, I have no idea. Well, we have two and a half days, kind of. The last day, we like have to go out to the airport, so it doesn't count. So we have like two days. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like we've done enough. It's time for us to kind of just chill and just enjoy what, where we're at and kind of just soak it all in and just remember the trip because we're not going to be probably come back here for like a minute because we're probably going to end up going to like two new places every time. I'm peeling really bad. <laughs> you guys can't see, but I'm peeling really bad. We're gonna um, eat some cereal, eat some breakfast real quick, and then we'll, I guess we have a couple hours to our massage, so we'll figure out what we're gonna do. We might actually film this house tour video. We just gotta clean a little bit, cause we got, well, I made it a little bit dirty last night. I, mean, I was making some food, but we'll see. Guys, so today is Cayman's official birthday dinner. We haven't been able to get any reservations for any other restaurants around his birthday, so we've been going to like the beach huts, all like the really casual dinners, but today is his official birthday dinner, and we're at this really, really pretty place. We're at Infinity Bar, Infinity Bar at the Grace Bay Club, and it's so beautiful. It reminds me of like Tulum when we went. It just gives me that same vibe, but everything's so pretty. It's really, really nice. Cayman's drink which is really good it's like nice and citry citrusy and then this one's my margarita i always get margaritas everywhere we go so it's just so good we're about to show you guys our food and it's so i can just tell it's gonna be hella good so stay tuned so this is probably the nicest restaurant that we I think we've ever been to so far here um i'm really excited because i ordered a tomahawk and you got the prawns and the Oysters. Well, my birthday is over, but this is like this the is last. The, this is the day. day to turn up. This is the last day to turn because tomorrow we cannot. Turn I turned up. up last night and I felt hungover today. I might do it again. I might not. We'll see. Well, I'm sorry. When we get this food, I'm gonna show you guys. It's gonna it's be kind of crazy. So we got some oysters, and I know a lot of people are not a big fan of them, but I love them. I love seafood in general. So first, you gotta squirt your lime. Ooh. Okay, and then you put the hot sauce. Oh, you gotta have her hot sauce. Always. So they're already like pulled out, so I don't think I have to worry about them. Okay, yeah, they're already pulled out. Mm, good? I love oysters. Mmm. Mmm. Crazy. So we got some prawns. We definitely need that. We got some truffle fries. We got the tomahawk over here. With, that looks really good. I need to mm -hmm. have some. And we have some veggies over here, which is, I need. It's so good. This is our last day in Turks and Caicos. Sad. Honestly, I feel like we've, we fulfilled like our journey here yeah like we've we done everything yeah we've done everything it's been like a whole week i'm sure if you guys follow us on instagram you probably have seen us like post oh, all you're probably like damn it been there for a long time like i definitely feel like this is the perfect amount of time i'm like sad to leave but i'm not like sad to leave that or makes you don't sense. feel like we haven't we didn't do everything yeah we wanted to do. i don't feel like we were lacking anything or we didn't do anything like that we did everything that i wanted to do and i just enjoyed kind of chilling and relaxing so we're about to go and get something to eat we have a really good day plan we also have a chef coming tonight that would be really and nice. we'll see how that goes you know i'm usually the chef around here so we'll see i'm sure his, the person who will be better than mine his name is crackpot we'll see what he talking about we'll see what he makes we're kind of matching as you guys see we're wearing pink pink right i should i should have worn my babe um my babe shorts I wish them babe shorts fit me, but they don't. I know. That would be a cute ass fit. <laughs> I'm going to try squeezing them real quick. <laughs> but we're going to go get some of you guys, and we'll see you guys in a sec. Well, you never tried a jerkfish here? No. Oh. It's like 
it slap a fillet. Mm -hmm. How they do they just grill it first and then they put it in the full papers all crushed with peppers with the jerk sauce and everything oh, in there. Oh, I think it is in foil. Right? Yes, oh, it's yeah. really good. So Carla said her head hurts. Show them what, show them what you did. My circulation in my head literally went numb. This hat is a 54. I don't know what that means. But it must be built for some really small head person. Alright guys, so we just got back from the beach. It was Grace Bay Beach. And now we're back at home. And we have a very special guest in the building. And he's about to whip up the best dinner we've ever had here. <laughs> We think. We gotta see. Welcome to Chucks and Caicos. I am Chef Nick, owner of Crackpot Kitchen Restaurant and Catering Services. You can follow us on Instagram at Crackpot Kitchen. Two of the world's most addictive things, <laughs> crack and pot. And we named our business that because our food is highly addictive. And yes, they will experience the best of what Chucks and Caicos has to offer. And you can listen in for their reviews. So stay tuned to what we're about to show you. All right, guys, you heard it. You heard it. We about to see. The course has started. And we we're starting out with some garlic bread. And we're eating outside by the ocean. You can literally hear the ocean. You have this nice little pool area. This little setup is really, really cute. And this is literally in the backyard. In the backyard. Yeah. So literally we're in the backyard like we we showed you guys in our house tour um, We're in the back of our villa. This is our last night This is actually really cool because we don't have to leave We've actually been really Chill. drained out because we've been doing a lot out here So it's really nice to just have the dinner here I've never actually had a person come cook like this for yeah. me my first time. This is all for you, baby Well, I cook for you every day. So this is I'll give you this all the time But this is gonna be a whole nother level first. We got this garlic bread This shit's busting. Oh, this shit busting. You just sound like that little boy. This shit busting. Before me and Carla got here here. Well, I was on a really strict diet. She was too. She already eats really healthy, but since we came here, we were like, we're gonna eat whatever we want. This would not be in our diet. Mm -mm. <laughs> First up, we had the garlic bread. I guess we got the next course coming up. I'm excited to see what it is. I've never had this done before. I feel like so bougie right now. Just know your girl got you. I be treating him right. I don't treat you right? Yeah, you do. I don't treat you right? <laughs> this is a makeup for last year. This is what we both deserve after the year that we all, I mean, you guys experienced too. Mm hmm If you're not on vacation right now, you can live through us. Live through us, We're yeah. doing it for you guys too that aren't there, but you can go one day. This garlic bread is busted. I hope I don't get full off of it. It's so good though. I gotta ask him for the recipe. I know. So when I get home, I can make all these for Carl. I'm excited to see what's next. I'm like, oh, we got courses. Honestly, I'm gonna get all the way full, I don't even care. What you have here is my signature taco shot glasses. Done three ways with the best of what Turks and Caicos has to offer. What we have inside of our glasses is lobster, fresh tuna caught today, and crack conk. That's like a taco in a glass. And I'll show you guys how to eat it. What you do is you take your glass, you grab a hold of your taco, push it down ever so slightly, turn the glass, mm -hmm. where you will pick up all the sauces at the bottom. Some of them have different oh, sauces. Okay. What you have here is a uh, guacamole and curry aioli. You have guacamole and sour cream. You have our flamingo sauce and sour cream that complements the crack kong very well. Mm -hmm. So you hold your taco, push it down ever so slightly, twist the glass around to pick up some of that sauce, pull your taco out, and you should have a fully be good. Loaded yeah. taco Ooh. with everything inside. So you got lobster, fresh tuna caught today, and conch, which is a specialty here in the Turks and Caicos. I haven't tried conch yet. Is there some? No, she have. did. I did. I yes. loved it. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. All right, guys, so we about to try it. Hopefully, I do it right. So he said, dip it, twist it, take it out, they eat put it. it right here. All right, guys, so I'm about to eat some signature taco shots from Crackpot Kitchen. My guy right here. Chef Nick all day. <laughs> so you said, twist it. Dip it, dip it down a little bit, twist the glass, and then you take it out, and you take a bite, and there you go. <laughs> hey, that sauce is good. What's the sauce? Yeah, that's my signature sauce coming to a store near <laughs> you very soon. <laughs> no, it's hella good. That's my first time is having this the conch. conch. This one is the crack conch. It's fried. This one? Uh, oh, right this to one. the end. Yes, ma'am. All right, so I have my little shot taco. Mm -hmm. This is the conch. I love conch. How is it? Mmm. That sauce? It has a kick to it too, mm -hmm. huh? This is good. I just tried the conch one, which is really good. The Gee. tuna one is hella good. Tuna I one was tuna. buzzing? Mm-hmm. You can taste it. Tastes. This is the shrimp. Let's see this one. You can dip it. Twist it. It's like Twist a bop it. it. Twist it. Pull it. <laughs> you take it out. How mm. is it? 
That's hella good. Bless him. <laughs> it's good. Next, guys, we have the shrimp one. The same thing. Oh, you ate that whole thing by mm -hmm. one bite. I'm not even lying because we have a, a chef here. It's actually really, really good. Mm hmm It's really, really good. I wouldn't lie to y'all about food. You know I like my food. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. We got the lamb over here, too. Sheesh. What we have here is our seafood risotto, which features cacus pumpkin risotto, fully loaded with flavors of the ocean. We have our mussels, our clams, our shrimp, our lobster. We have some fried okra, Turks beer jerk, lamb racks. It's kind of uh, turf and surf, 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 because surf is of the ocean. Yeah. So you have more ocean on the plate than land. So please do enjoy. Ooh. Ah. I can't wait to eat this. Are you ready? Good. I'm gonna try the lamb chops because I actually don't know if I've ever had lamb chops before. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Mmm. Oh my god. It's busting. Hold on, wait a minute. Nah, this is really good. And I like how there's so many options. Like, it's not just one thing. You have lamb chop, lobster. You have some mussels, shrimp. You got everything. So you eating good. I'm mm, eating good tonight. <laughs> Shout out to Crackpot Kitchen. This is actually my first time having a lamb chop, but just look at this. This looks crazy. You got a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna get a little bit of this lamb chop right here. Mmm. It's good, huh? It's my ring going off, but <laughs> lamb loski tastes better than like steak. It's like really Loki, good. Yeah, huh? Uh, maybe it's just because he made it really well. Right. All right, man. Definitely recommend if you guys come to Turks. Definitely, you guys need to have this because this is too good. Five star meal. I'm gonna keep eating. And I'm gonna see y'all when the place, that's time you see me, this place is gonna be done. So far, the food has been amazing, and apparently, we got a surprise. So, we're gonna see what this surprise is, too. Good night, everybody. Oh, babe, you were just talking about. Oh, I want, I some, want dessert. some dessert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in this plate there, we have uh, a two tier, four inch, and two inch at the top. The uh -huh. top tier is sour soap, I, um, cheesecake, and the bottom is guava. That looks yeah. really good. Okay, and these are made from local fruits here on Turks and Caicos Islands. Ooh. And here we have a Bailey's with red velvet at the bottom, two tear. Good. And they're both made from love. Oh, <laughs> these look good. So <laughs> thank you. All yes, right. uh, to find these lovely treats, you can follow me at Nathan's Cheesecakes on, on Instagram as well as Facebook. And I make cheesecakes daily here through the Turks and Caicos Islands. Any type of cheesecake you want, any flavor, I can make it. Wow. Just hit me up. <laughs> Enjoy, okay? I have a really big sweet tooth, so this is like right up my alley. It's just crazy. So now it's time to try the cheesecake. All right, guys, so I'm about to take a bite of Nathan's cheesecakes. These look crazy. I'm excited. Here we go. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> no lie. That's hella good. Carla devoured her plate as you guys I can see. I scarfed it down. <laughs> I don't play about my food. All right. The raspberry. How is it? Marvelous. Mm. I, <laughs> I want to set my wedding. The fresh fruit like really make it so yum. All right, guys, we are stuffed. I don't think I've ever ate this much before in my life. But no lie, the food was some of the best food we ever had. So worth it. Like probably the best meal we've had out here. Honestly, mm -hmm. everything we have tried out here has been honestly really really good but this was better but this one was just like over the top so this one was good. better make sure you guys go follow the crackpot kitchen on instagram we'll put it right here also follow nathan's cheesecakes i'm so glad that people just show so much love to us when we're out here mm -hmm. so we they're try to so always nice. show love back they're super super nice everyone mm -hmm. they have their hospital hospitality mm -hmm. is so good you know mm -hmm. english is my second language i yeah. could tell you're full i know you're full she's hella full she was over here munching no i ate it I think I ate it. I, well, I always eat a lot faster than you do, but 
but I be I scarf that down. Well, guys, this was our last day in Turks, and I can just say I'm completely satisfied. Me too. Thank you. If you guys ever come visit out here, definitely recommend this place. Anything that so we've been nice. doing, you guys should definitely should go do. Definitely we wouldn't do. recommend stuff that we we don't actually like. So it was a really dope experience. I definitely would come back here soon. For sure, I would for surely come back here. That's it for our Turks and Caicos vlogs, guys. Next time you see us, we'll probably be at the crib. Mm. But yeah, yeah we'll we're see. We're excited to see your dog. We're good. We had a good week. Everyone mm -hmm. that so far that has asked us like how long we stayed here, like it was oh, a week. It was just seven days. You you stayed for a long a while. So yeah, for surely a week definitely like satisfied me for sure. Yeah, I think five days would be good too. Like that's the bare mm -hmm. minimum. Bare I think minimum. we should take is five. And then we did seven. I think seven was perfect because we had days to just chill. No Honestly, if you guys aren't doing what we do, which is like social media stuff, because mm -hmm. we have to film a lot and like if you're just completely relaxing, just relaxing. then perfect 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 but we still had a lot of really good fun and yeah. we got to relax too so we got to relax. i've enjoyed it it was my birthday i'm an old head all right guys so that is it we will see y'all back in la and see you guys back in la we're out